Okay, this video I'm going to talk about counterexample. So, in testing a conjecture, if a special case is found that satisfies the condition of the conjecture but produces a different result, that case is called a counterexample. So, again, if you have a statement, actually two statements, one statement produces another statement and somehow you can prove it wrong that is counterexample okay that is counterexample let's take a look on this uh, number here okay so i'm gonna have this one down here first one here actually i have two okay all right so the first one here clearly as you see a number multiply by the same number is an odd number so we are trying to have this statement as it is okay so let's translate it a number multiplied this by the same number so a number is one multiplied by the same number which is also one that is going to be odd number which is one so i am not actually making any counter example i just translate what they said Whatever the statement, I didn't make the conjunction conjunction wrong or proof wrong or opposite. Okay, so I want to actually go back here. Let's understand this. Story, okay, we have to make we have to make sure that we have to make sure that it produces a different result on the other side. This side it produces a different result after equal sign. Okay, so the first statement we are going to you know translate as it is or if vice versa okay or vice versa so then of course obviously this doesn't work so this one doesn't work okay yeah? so we can do that now i'm going to come up with another number actually okay i'm going to come up with another number so what is that number two multiply the same number which is equal to four now the first statement says any number multiply same number yes which is correct that is equal to four but the conjecture set must be odd so we just prove it that a counter example we prove up that's not what it was said on the problem so that is fine we just had a counter example and we can produce Tons of counter example, okay. You can produce tons of counter example. Now you know you realize that any odd number will not work. Okay. Five times five is twenty-five is still odd. Any two odd number is basically giving you an odd number. Okay. So four times four that is sixteen. That will also work. So this is an a counter example. Okay. This is a counter example and you can any problem comes up to you as long as you pay attention with the translation and it produces a different answer on the other side you're done okay so we're going to translate this one actually here okay this piece we're going to translate the sum of any three counting numbers well we can come up with an infinity okay, tons of possibilities here right this sum of any three counting numbers. You now look, I'm gonna do easy one. One, two, three. Which is equal to three, four, five, six. Is it divisible by seven? No, no, it's not divisible by seven. Not divisible. not divisible by 7 so that means we just prove it or if I do another one actually here right if we come up with a 10 plus 4 sorry 3 I mean 3 10 plus 3 plus 1 which is 14 is it divisible by 7 yes if so, this is not a counter example. This is not a counter 
example. This is not a counter example. Okay. So this one is a counter example, obviously. And you can come up with many, many and a counter example. So for example, 15 plus 10 plus 5, 30. Is not divisible. So this one is also correct. This is a counterexample. So this is called counterexample when the second part produce opposite or it doesn't really tell you what is given. You get something different. I should say different, okay, instead of opposite. So yeah, that's a counter example. So that's how actually you deal with this counter example, all right? So as you see, you can go back and you can come up with many examples. Bottom line is as long as you produce the second statement false, you are good. Thank you.